Just have that to say thank you very much. No, you've interrupted me. <laughs> I was talking. No, you know what? I, I believe in this conversation, there is too much hatred and it's not no. coming from me. I think you all need to examine yourselves and stop mm -hmm. coming at people. Stop coming at people. There's Janet, no you know, if you're feeling this way, I think you should um, just drop because we don't. I'm going to, to drop. To... I'm going okay. to drop because I think it's okay. I'll do, so... I'll, I'll do it for you, Janet, that's because ridiculous. I'm not going to have you accusing anybody of bullying you, and that's not no. the case. Okay, are you I'm entitled to your opinion, absolutely. But when you're coming up and you're going, oh, who are you to educate me? Well, listen, you're on UK soil, sweetheart. So. Yeah, someone, one of these or myself is going to educate you. Um, you're not being bullied, you're being educated. And if you see that as bullying, then that's not, a, that's not a me problem. It's a you problem. I'm sorry. Sorry, Chester. I know she's your friend, but I'm not going to have her speak to these like shit in the box. And I'm not going to have her speak to me like shit either. Um, all I've said is that coloured is not the word that we use here and can you please correct yourself and say person of colour or black people that was apparently bullying I didn't see it as bullying I think that word if I'm honest gets chucked around a hell of a lot and I think you need to fucking um, grow a pair I'll be honest because um, if you get offended by things like that by being educated TikTok isn't for you darling mm. um, go on Charlotte carry on um, because I, can't, I sit on both sides of the fence, okay? I'm biracial and I'm from the travelling community. So basically, um, Pearl, um, obviously when the Nike word is addressed or when the hippo word's addressed, okay, Pearl has done lives in regards to that. Pearl was shown when um, the Observer come on, she showed, she said, well, I don't understand what went wrong. So Pearl knew what was right and what's wrong. It's the basics, you know, what is right and what is wrong. Okay, the word was used again in the same context from, from the start to the finish, it was used in the same context. It was the same meaning, it was meant the same way and it was said in hatred, okay? So I don't understand why people are now saying, oh, okay, I'm no offense to anyone, but okay, we're not going to speak to him. We're going to demodder this. Like, why wasn't it done the first time? It was racism from the first time. And it's racism from the second time. And people have mocked, I'm sorry, have said the most. They've come on here and mocked these two girls. Mocked, mocked the racism. I'm sorry, but they have. They've come on here and said the most. They really have. And it's been okayed. And what it done, it had a massive gateway for Pearl to come through and say what the fuck she wanted. She said it with chest because everyone was doing uh, the, the, the monkey uh, emoji they were doing uh, the face thing. They were eating bananas on lives. They were doing the most and saying the most. When uh, Miss Red's uh, apparent uh, uh, address got doxxed, it was a hum humongous thing. But when Paige's location got doxxed, didn't hear much about it though, did you? It wasn't the same. It wasn't meant in the same context. It wasn't. It wasn't a big thing. But the cracks were shown because so many people, so many people were mocking the situation. So it was okay for it to say it again. There was no education from the get go. I am sorry. There was education. It just wasn't accepted. It, no one wanted to learn. You cannot teach ignorance. It's not that no one that wanted to learn. It was Pearl that did not want to learn. That's I'm not what I'm responsible. Saying. I'm not responsible for anybody's behaviour on here. How I display my behaviour is my issue and my issue. Alone, and I'm not responsible for anybody else's. I've given people chance after chance when they've fucking hurt me the most, Charlotte. So if I want to give somebody another chance, then I will. And I'm not going to have anybody tell me that I shouldn't. I think we've all been put in a position where we have given somebody a second chance, third chance, fourth chance, even when they've fucking treated us like shit. So I'm not going to have anybody say to me, oh, you shouldn't have given her another chance. I gave her another chance because I, I gave her the benefit of the doubt to be a good person and to switch her shit up and to change her behavior she displayed that she's not going to change so therefore i've made i've set my boundaries and i've fucked off and okay, that's then, well stand. people shouldn't say the first time around it was ignorance because it was racism from the get-go so no people should sit on here and say it was ignorance it wasn't ignorance it was racism from the get-go well if she if she chose not to be educated that's on her that's all i can say i'm not going mm. to take it on the chin with what she's done because it wasn't me and it didn't I come from my mouth. I never said on the chin. I just don't think the hypocrisy coming on here and saying, oh, I've now demodded her. I've now unfriended her. What, now she said it a second because time? Because of the app, no. Charlotte, 
we tried to speak to her and we tried to say, listen, you do that sort of shit again, like we're done. No, I won't do that again, I promise you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool, please don't do that. We tried mm. to educate her. Han tried her best to educate Pearl. It didn't sink in for whatever reason. Um, but sometimes when people display the behaviour and show who they're going to be, you have to believe it. And I believe it this time. So I know in the comments... She doesn't want to be educated. Blood. No, I don't want blood in the comments, actually. I just want equality. I just want peace. I just want everyone to be equal, loved and cherished. I don't want all this bollocks going on. It happened on the app. It didn't happen off the app. And people really need to remember that. But Charlotte, you, you, know, you know, the thing is, though, I feel like the first day when it happened, Pearl was willing to be educated. But then the day after when she came in and she kept saying, I'm going to carry on saying it, that's when I distanced myself. And the, the difference with Pearl and Chester is he's plain pure ignorance i didn't know so you're either stupid or you don't give a fuck what you said um and you're just you're just trying to backtrack like say it with chest what you meant and tell us what you meant don't say you didn't know if you didn't know don't speak on it don't come on the internet when there's thousands of people watching you and saying stuff and then say to us we, i didn't know but the thing is, Top Girl, it just don't stop there. That it's been mocking of the trans, uh, the trans trans community saying, "Oh, you know, okay, oh, I'm transgender. Oh, no, transphobic. Transphobic is is a hatred. It's it's hate crime. Like you're laughing about it because you're saying, oh, transgender, no, transphobic. That that there is mocking, mocking. Charlotte, That's respectfully, you were Pearl, Pearl's friend around that time. When? No, I was yeah. not. Well, no, when I she was talking to Barbie? I stopped. No, I stopped. I didn't. You did not see me come on. Mm, no, I don't know about that. Mm, I think so. Yes, I don't, I I don't I think so. I think you were very much still around, Pearl. Show me the proof then, please, um, Jay. Because you I were still around, I Pearl. You were still from in Pearl. boxes with I her. I came away from Pearl. No, I didn't. I came away from Pearl. I came away from Pearl. After the whole Barbie situation, I came away from Pearl. Okay. Mm -hmm. But thank you very much anyway. Yeah, can I just say something as well? For the people saying I've been transphobic in the chat, I haven't. I never have done. I think, to be fair, there's a lot of lessons learnt. A lot of lessons learnt. I just feel like he, he's not taking responsibility for what he said and his actions. Like, if you've done it, say with chess. What do you expect me to do? You, I'm listening. The thing I'm is, you're ever, with everything you're saying, I didn't know. Oh, I didn't do that in that way. Say it with chess what you meant. And then people will probably respect you a bit more. Like, the, everyone's going I on about it. Let me just finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Everyone's talking um, about the EQ situation. EQ came on Birdsman's Live and explained the whole situation to us and apologised. And she didn't make excuses for it. She said I... what she said. And let me finish. Right. And she um, apologised to the whole of the Muslim really community. Stop. She I didn't make excuses it. for her behaviour like you are. I just want to say one thing quickly, yeah? Chester, you apologise for this, yeah? No, yeah. I've done so what, hold on, hold on, Chester, 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 you apologise for this, yeah? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so what did you apologise for? I apologised if... Um, Eastern because Bernard, you were racist. That's why you apologised. Just be straight up, like they're telling you, be straight no, up with what racist. they're saying. Come across as, as I was being racist. I'm not racist, and I, I apologise if it if it was racist towards anybody. And I did it and I apologised three times that week. And I left it as that. I um, had a w left it for that, stayed off the app for a week. And that's it, I've been, that was it. I just come back and I've not. I'm not gonna let those, 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 those kind of actions can tell me they're not racist, bro. I will never accept yeah. that. 100%. When you're making, when you're making um, excuses for your actions, the apology doesn't have no substance to it. And I think that's why people are keep going on at you. Like when Pearl said it the first time, she put her hands up and said, right, no, I said it. No, I'm sorry, but the only time you've wanted to just start going at it is the past day. I it's only saw it the past day, love. No, well, it's been, it was shown the night of, um, the first night it happened. Then I apologised, spoke to everybody that week. Then it's never been shown ever since or mentioned for the past three weeks until yesterday, all of a sudden it's back up again.
Do you know the thing is though, Chester, when you say something on the internet, it's there forever. Oh, yeah, whether yeah, yeah. you say sorry or not, or whether you say you're racist or not, you said what you said and you did what you did, and it's going to be there forever. And some people would not have come across it that have only just come across it. So it's going to be um, said to you forever, you know, because what you did, it was trying to provoke a reaction from the black community, from Tory and Page, especially because obviously they were the ones speaking out on it. So it's not it's not a case with racism or transphobia or anything like that. It's not a case of, oh, you've said sorry and it goes away. It doesn't work like that because it it's hurtful to people. Hey, Chester, can I ask you a question? You know, if you, was, uh, if you wasn't sat on your couch, bro, on the internet, and you was in a public space with a bunch of black people around you talking to white people in your vicinity, would you do that same thing? Oh, no. Well, then, so you clearly know that you was in the wrong. Exactly. Like, you need to wise up, bro. Right? You're either, like, you're acting real dumb or you are dumb. Do you know what I mean? Because of, like, he, Hustle just put it to you then. You wouldn't do it in front of people. You're happy to yeah. do it while you're behind the screen and then claim it isn't racist. So why wouldn't you do it in front of them people if you was in front of them? No, actually, no. No, you meant, no, no, you said no, the no, 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 no. Explain that quickly. Don't, don't fucking piddle about why would you not say it in front of a group of people of viewers around them out in a public space why wouldn't you say that no what is i would have said it but because it, i would have said it but it was not aimed to be racist you would have said it Don't no, you would have said it i would have said yes okay can i can i say can i try to speak to you? Oh, this guy's lost it because yeah, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me let me try and and try and speak to Chester, please. Right, Chester, do you know what? It, do, you, do you know why people are coming at you, babe? Like, I think like what it is is, it's not about the apology. Like, people, I'm watching the comments while I've been on mute, and everyone's saying he's apologised, he's apologised. Why is it being brought up again? If Pearl hasn't been a lesson for everyone on the app that an apology means fuck all to the black community after you've been outright racist and been educated and still gone back and backtracked and your actions you know speak and show otherwise if that hasn't been a lesson i don't know why people in the comments are saying that he's apologizing i think it carries more weight and more meaning for us is what you've learned from your actions and what you understand from it it's all well and good saying i apologize i'm sorry if it offended the black community but why what means more to me is that you understand the impact that it has on the black community rather than your intention okay mama rather than the intention give, give me a second guys alicia just let, can i drop you a minute Is that yeah okay? i'll jump out now i've said um, <laughs> i needed to say but yeah thanks okay. um, um do you know sorry do you know why i came up here quickly i just want to have a quick just a short conversation with mikey mikey you there fella yeah ma'am uh just a good question you see when you you said you saw when you just watched that video you said you didn't like you weren't defending him but you yeah. don't understand the offence, right? Well, you don't. Right, it wasn't. It wasn't. That I didn't. Want it. Right. So, furthermore, f first of all, hustle. Right. Thank you for speaking to me. Um. First. Um. I didn't. I wasn't thinking that he wasn't being racist. For me personally, when I was when I I was in the live at the beginning. Okay, and it was just a talk thing. The thing with the banana, I didn't see. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. And the thing for me, the reason why I popped up, right, is just because, like, I watched Chester. I don't know him personally, so it's not like that at all, you know. But what my opinion is, is that CLA, yeah, says the N word, right? Okay, and everyone still goes live with her. Laura's gone live with her. Hustle, I've seen you go live with her and um, have battles with her. Ems goes live with her. And it's like, because she's a big creator, it gets forgotten about. Chester isn't a massive creator, he's a little creator. He made a mistake, he apologised. Okay, I understand, I'm not a person of colour, so it wouldn't personally, like, that's not a part of my community. But every day I get trolled for calling a batty man, yeah? Um, all them homophobic things. I've been in Torian and Paige's live, and there's been homophobic comments made, you know? And if I, if I pulled up a live and went mad about it, I wouldn't get listened to, because I'm, I'm only, I've only got 4,000 followers. So my thing for jumping up here is just to say, yeah, that we need to have the same 
energy for everybody else. EQ's been transphobic. She's been homophobic. She's been racist, you know. But because she's a oh, big creator, wait, she has wait, thousands of pounds. She gets away with no, it. But nobody, wait, so, nobody so, so to cut you, Robert, I, like That's what right. you're saying is completely valid, right? But I'm talking yeah. about what you've seen. You said when you saw that, you didn't see the offence. Right. It wasn't that I didn't see the offence, yeah. It, the beginning bit where they were just talking, yeah, I didn't see the banana bit, right? When they were talking in the beginning, I didn't... I wasn't looking at that and seeing it was as offensive. I felt, I felt at first when Janet said that Paige came in and she put the eyeballs, she was like, and I and everybody was like, oh, Paige is here. Yeah, it was just a normal general conversation in the beginning. Do you know what I mean? And so, so, so I didn't see things. that end bit of the video, to be honest. No, but so I do things, not, right? I do not, and I will stand, I will stand here with chest. Yeah, right, because yeah. I'm a big man out here. Yeah, I do not condone anything that was said in there. Right, I'm not a racist person at all. I can make excuses for not being racist because I've got mixed race family, but that's just a normal thing what a white person would do when they're trying to deflect, and that's something that I'm not trying to do. I came up here to give an opinion to say that this app it goes everywhere on this app. You know, he apologized, okay, and I know everyone's like, Well, he apologized, it didn't affect you because you're a white man. Wait, and so I hold totally on, hold on, that. I understand all that. I just don't want to move away from like what I was originally talking to you about, right? Yeah, um, so, like, I completely hear you, I agree with you in some aspects, right? But, yeah. First of all, when you say you don't see the offence, first of all, it was not aimed at you, so you'll never see it, you'll never feel it. I hear that. Of all, right? Uh, yeah. Secondly, let me just put something into, into perspective. So here's what happened, right? Someone who he's friends with got into an argument and then he went live and started to antagonise the people he was in an, uh, she was in an argument with, right? Um, and this is about race. Now let's switch it on you for a second. You highlighted you're a gay man, right? Yeah. Now, if, what if I now have an argument with a gay man, right? And then I now go on my live and I'm saying, I'm not talking about that person um, themselves, but I'm now saying, yo, uh, real men like, like women, real men reaper, like, do you know all of these things? But yeah. not, not specifically attacking gay people, but just highlighting things around. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it's, yeah. it's, it's distasteful, bro. It's not nice. So, I, and do you know what? Just in a I, well, 100%, 100% I agree with you. Yeah. And if what I just said, was seen could be seen differently to other people then obviously i'm going to apologize for that do you know what i mean but i was just giving my opinion of that it was an it was his opinion okay and obviously it didn't affect me because i'm a white man right and i get what you're saying the context in what you're saying you know so i'm definitely not here defending chester right but i just thought i'd give a difference of opinion because you know I get, I get attacked for being gay in most lives that I go in, you know, like, and I've been in Torian's life and Paige's life and I've been in other people's lives and homophobic comments have been put in there, but nothing said, you know, and I know sexuality and race are two completely different things, but it's still a hate crime and it's still a community thing because obviously we have a gay community and then obviously the race is completely different to being racist. Do you know what I mean? But it's still a hate crime. And so I was just giving that opinion. If I've come across like, as if my opinion is wrong, then I apologize for that. And if I've offended anyone, I apologize for that too. Mm -hmm. Guys, um, am I okay just to chime in? Because I had to have a Prozac when Janet was here. So chances are I'll be asleep in five. Go on, Chloe. Um, well, first of all, when I heard about the chest and the banana situation, I thought this was a CLA hairbrush situation. So I don't know which one's better personally, but I've now seen the video. I hadn't seen the video before, but I have seen it. And it's such a shit situation because I've, I've always been in Chester's lives before and always got on with Chester so well. So it's really shit to see how that played out. Um, it's so interesting hearing everybody's opinions, but the advice, I feel like Chester needs advice. So the advice I feel like I could give him was try and listen to little bits that people are trying to get across, like Paigey, for example. One thing that really struck a chord was she said to Chester, do you understand how your words made me feel um, as a woman of colour? And obviously, he obviously doesn't know that because obviously he wouldn't have done it. So I think it's important to take from, you know, people's opinions that, that that whole thing, that whole, you know, skip, I don't know what it was supposed to be, a joke, a rant, I've got no idea, but it's it's caused offence, it's caused upset. And I think the, the, the last thing you want to do on an app like this is cause upset, you know? Sorry, can I just say one thing quickly, yeah? Because of one of Chester's followers who keeps putting things in the comments, Prince Brat, just because you've got a 37 badge don't mean your comment makes you relevant, you dumb dumb, yeah? So just be quiet down there. 
Um, also, the second thing I would say, um, Chester, is wh where I grew up was like 99% white and it's it's the hard, it's, it's, it's so hard to come out of an area from being like predominantly white and thinking that you have the right to have these types of opinions and sit on an app and talk like you did. Um, so like, I don't know how to word it, but my advice would be is try to surround yourself with people that are just like, just come out of your comfort zone. There's no point listening to all your followers who are white giving you advice because you're never going to get like the fair bigger picture. And also I think Pagey was offering to educate you a little bit, like in a nice way, like off the app in DMs, like take that. I would take that if, if someone's offering to like kindly, you know, give you some education on what might may be offensive take it accept it because at the end of the day people are just trying to make sure that there's you know there's no offense happening on this app do you know what i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not articulating myself well but i know what i mean <laughs> i think what it is chloe like I, I understand everything that you're saying and he should take the advice that people are giving him but he just needs to stop saying i didn't know but i didn't mean it like that like and that because when he says sorry we we won't take the sorry because if you keep saying but and i, I didn't know you you're just backtracking and everything you're saying you're just saying sorry because everyone's going at you do you know what it is when and i'll give you this as an example because you were one of obviously pearl's friend or still is i, I don't really care but when pearl said what she said the morning after myself and Paige went into her life and she reached out to us and she said, look, like, you know, I want education. I didn't know that was offensive. When I said it, I didn't really see that Laura was a black woman, et cetera, et cetera. We now openly went into her live and we educated her on the connotation of the word orangutan actually holds to a black community and why it's offensive. If you would have done that same thing, I think the grace that you would give, that you probably would have been given would have been different and a bit more lenient. The fact that, you know, you're here and Top Girl's right, the fact that you came on today and said, well, if this and but this, and I didn't know this, I didn't know that, there's no shame in owning that you didn't know. There's no shame in saying, actually, I didn't know that was offensive. Even if you did know to an extent, but you didn't understand the severity of it, it's okay to admit and say that. I'm more than happy to come jump in, pay G Torian and educate you and tell you why what you said is offensive. And then if you go and then repeat it again or it carries on, then that's obviously your own prerogative. That's, you know, you're going to have to reap what you sow in that sense. But I think that's what people want you to kind of have an attitude on. I think the attitude of people saying, if this, but this, uh, you know, I didn't know, it's not an excuse. It's 2024. Racism is all around us. It's, it's not fair and it's not acceptable to have that as a justification i think that's what people are trying to kind of get through to you so if you were just to say look guys i own it it was offensive i fucked up you know it, i didn't understand the severity of it maybe i did it, absolutely yeah the respect would have been much higher and trust me i wouldn't even I, I probably wouldn't even give you shit for it. And I think Paige, you wouldn't either. We would be like, do you know what? Same way we did with Pearl, we'd go into your life, we'd educate you, you'd take it in, you'd understand, you'd apologize. And that would be so much more receptive and people would have been, you know, a little bit more lenient with you and accepting of your apology. And it would hold weight in a sense. Do you understand? Like it would hold weight. So I think that's where I think you've gone wrong in terms of your attitude and your response of trying to deal with this whole situation and chester i followed you you follow me i've been in your lives before i've never heard you speak like that before that was the first time so i was a bit disappointed but still my dms are still open you know if you want to spark a live afterwards i'm more than happy to jump in and speak when there isn't so many people in the live um but yeah honestly that's probably the attitude that you need to have and i really hope that you can like learn from something learn from us today Love that, love that. I think, I think Chester, people are offering to help, like, as I said, take it. You're young enough where you can be like educated and better yourself from this. I don't really know Pearl, but all I say is that <laughs> I do find it hard to believe that a woman of Pearl's age didn't realise that some of the way she speaks. Sorry, can I, can I butt in again quickly? Because I've just been sent saying that it's fucking sickening, all right? So you see this gypsy queen uh, lady, is that, know. is that the one with, uh, was like teaming up with Queen Booze? Yeah, the, with that other one who's got a rancid mouth as well. Yeah. Well, I've just been sent this, yeah? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But listen, hold on, what she refers to the P pages. 
Yes, the worst of her this morning. She's an orangutan, I'm looking at the whole lot of the world. She's a monkey orangutan and an ape all put in one. They were her words. Can you not hear that? Uh, no face this is what i mean like now pearl said it and we accepted her apology people are thinking it's okay to do it again and other people are jumping on the bandwagon do you understand what i mean that's now for these people that is gypsy queen so this for those gypsy that didn't queen. hear that clearly it was gypsy oh, sorry, queen i'm going so... to try and play it again sorry let what, me who's she uh, saying uh, yeah, she, 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 she said, said all of uh, them pearl uh, shouldn't uh, be leaving the act uh pearl shouldn't be leaving the act blah 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 uh she goes uh she's a monk she's a monkey and eight and an orangutan all in one on about page in that who said that who said that queen b look i'll play it again quickly i don't know not why queen, you can hear it queen b was it it was gypsy gypsy queen not queen uh, b. sorry gypsy queen sorry my bad gypsy queen one sec let me see if you can hear it now hold on can you hear this <laughs> Just keep listening because it pauses. Yeah. So you just heard that yourself. I'm going to end up cussing. I'm going to get myself banned. Chill, um, chill, chill, chill. Yeah. Chill out, man. See Deep breath, I mean. man. See what I mean? Like, I, I can't. And I want to address the whole last night thing because people have been messaging me and my DMs. Wait, I'm not going to lie. You know, when I yeah. hear that shit, that shit, that, that don't even bother me, you know, that's not shocking to me, bro. Like, I expect racist <sighs> things from people that fucking explode like that and are just that's weird That's not like Pearl, that. by the way, guys. It wasn't Pearl. No, that wasn't it's Pearl. Not... That was Gypsy Queen saying that she will say worse than Pearl and she will call her a monkey, an ape and an orangutan all in one. <sighs> What I mean. Um, yeah, can I quickly just arrest yeah, the what happened last thing. night, love? So, um, after obviously the whole live that everyone did that we were in, I was in about 10 million different lives being asked to come in and speak. Then obviously me, Paige and Troy spoke off the app and decided to do a whole kind of educational live and to address everyone that had questions about what Pearl said that night um, at nine o'clock. We started the live. It was so positive. Um, Laura, if you're watching this, honestly, like, I hope you can take fucking something from this, but, um, yeah, so it was all positive. I came up, I gave an, um, I think I was talking about a book that I'd read that was really, really educational that people asked me about and we were just going through the book. Then obviously Laura decided to jump in. Um, do you know what? I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna shy away from this. I'm gonna call it how it fucking is. Cause yeah, I'm vexed. Um, Obviously, the whole thing that happened with her and Speedo last year. Speedo is my friend off the app. I supported him, never liked her, never did, never been following her. I was never a supporter of Laura um, for my own reasons outside of obviously what happened with Pearl. Not once, and I want to reiterate this so everyone can hear, not once did I ever once slag off Laura, bring up Laura in a live that was talking about racism. Since Pearl said what she said, I was in that live when Pearl called Laura an orangutan. I was in the box. So I had first-hand experience of exactly the backlash and how it felt as a black person to hear that from a white person. So my thing is, not once in every live that's happened since, whether it's a big creator, whether it's Pages, Torians, have I ever brought up Laura's name in a negative manner. If anything, I did the complete opposite. I supported her, I backed her, I defended her, I made sure that I was the voice of reason and I educated a lot of people. So Laura came in last night and obviously chose to attack me out of everybody in the box um, due to obviously personal reasons because she knows that I'm friends with Speedo. She was vile, she was horrible. Everyone that was in the live can probably, you know, vouch for this and probably understand why I feel the way I'm shaking. Like, that's how angry I am right now. Um, the way that she spoke to me was absolutely fucking disgusting from a bl another black woman. Did she You're just alive. come in and, and just jump on your hand? She, well, she came in saying that she, her attitude stinks. That was her first thing when she came in. She said, my attitude stinks, I'm pissed off. She went on a rant about all the creators. Everyone was on pause. Nobody interrupted her. They basically let her have her say on everything that she felt. We wanted her to let it out because nobody should silence her. So we just said, you know what? We're going to stay on mute. Let her say what she wants to say. She said what she said. Um, and then obviously I spoke on it and I said, look, when she said, 
stop. I don't know, you know, I'm going to go on mute. I don't want to lose my shit. I then unmuted and I said, Laura, say what you want to say. You're entitled to feel how you feel. We're just as annoyed and as frustrated and upset as you are. Go ahead. And that's when she chose to attack me and said, I don't want to have a conversation with you because I know that you've done this. You were in Luke's box. You were in Luke's live. You were gifting Luke after what he said to me. Obviously, she doesn't know what's happened off the app that I've spoken to Luke. I've reached out to yourself, Miss J. We've spoken mm -hmm. about it. He's obviously come on live after that and apologised. And I know that Luke's reached out to Laura, but she declined, right? Laura doesn't follow me. Laura has never, ever seen me in a live, whether she watches off a fake mm -hmm. account or not. She doesn't know what I've been doing for the past three and a half weeks. I've been going on every single fucking live and I've been educating people. The ignorant of ignorant, the racist of racist. I've I'm sure at calm. some point, Han, you've wanted to really lose your shit. Do you know what I mean? But you've kept right. yourself calm and collected. Yeah, and, and what I found was so disrespectful and so probably more, not even disrespectful, more hurtful than anything was it was coming from another black woman. Like I wouldn't even be mad if that was a white woman that came and defended Laura and had a go at me because I'd be like, yeah, I know you don't get it, you're white. Do you know what I mean? I, it would have been understandable, but what hurt me the most was the fact that she was another black woman and it was on a live of Pages, who's my friend of the app, and we were talking about racism. We had girls coming up saying, how do we educate our young ones? How do we respond to this? How do we do this? What books can we read? That's, that was my purpose in those lives. And not once have I ever slagged that girl off. Not once did I ever make it personal, but she decided to take it personal with me last night. So with everybody that's watching, that's watching today and was there last night, I'm not gonna sit here and cuss Laura. I'm not going to say anything about her because I'm grown enough and mature enough and educated enough to sit here and I'm not going to slag her off. That's just not me. It's not my character. But what I won't take is somebody attacking me and portraying their own personal issues that they have with somebody else onto me. And it's unacceptable. I'm so sorry. And Laura, if you're watching, please, please, when you're going into boxes about racism, I'm not one to tell you how to act or how to run your platform. Just bear in mind when you're attacking your own because what you did is attack your own. And I did nothing but bloody support you and defend you. And I put my own bullshit, my own kind of opinions that I have of you and judgment aside to make sure that I come in. I could have been like everyone on the app and said, oh, fuck Laura, fuck Laura. I don't like Laura. I'm not going to stand up for her. Da, da, da. What kind of black woman does that make me? What example am I setting for the app? What example am I setting for my own kids? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I'm raising a black son. I don't want him to see something in the streets and say, oh, because I don't like that person, I'm not going to stick up for him. And then it ends up being that person getting really hurt. So yeah. it just shows you that in this world and on this app, nobody can be blamed for what other people do. You have to stand up for what's right and what you believe in and put your personal bullshit to the side because unity is what creates respect. And as mm. soon as people bring in personal bullshit and personal stuff, it's going to go left. And I'm honestly deeply hurt by the way Laura treated me last night. And if she wants to reach out to me, she can. We can speak off the app, but I won't be addressing her again. And I won't be speaking on this again. I will continue speaking on it and I'll continue fighting for racism and I'll continue to educate people because that's just me as a person. And I feel like my purpose on earth is to educate people and to help people. And I, I don't believe in the whole cussing and yeah. No one's ever seen the people that are me. saying that um, her that word a lot. Let's talk up on that. Yeah, the people that are Tesla. saying, like, apparently Pearl's saying that she didn't say that to them. It was someone in the chat and she used it a lot. The video that I see, yeah, the reason I woke up that morning and went live was because of she was referring to the live where they were all sat in and said a pack of orangutans. Yeah, so she wasn't just referring to one, she was referring to them all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can we just go back? No, face out. I'm sorry, I've, I've jumped up. But can we just go back to Han? Because I know I know the Pearl thing's important and we're going to probably have to talk about it again. But Han, I, I, you, you said what you said and then and then no face sort of came up and wanted to talk about Pearl. Uh, how, how do you feel now? Obviously, you've got that off your chest. And um, I know it's and, and it's brave. It's brave speaking out about yeah. somebody with a big platform, anybody with a big platform. Um, because basically it's not the individual themselves, it's the people around them that come and uh, cause problems. So I hope uh, you... Uh, no, sorry, Cockapoo, you know, I, I, you, you might want to sideline what's going on. I'm just in here for one reason, and I'm in here to say we need to report Pearl for hate speech, and it is what it is. 
it, there's no way of like trying to deflect it into what she said before and yeah, afterwards. That's why and that how no, no, one was, no one was defending. It's just hands yeah, coming no, and wanted no, to no, 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 just explain. No, no, I understand that, that, but I'm trying to say it is wrong. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm 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 a bit older than Pearl, so I'm from a her school. She's about 56, I'm 58. I, I am telling you that I have seen what she did before. I know I was very kind of like allowing. Yeah. And, and she, Sorry, and can, can we just finish what Ham was saying? Because Ham was actually, she was, she, can we yeah, let her laugh? Is that right? Give me something. Yeah. Go on, Han. Go yeah, with um, you know, I, I completely agree, but I, I've not seen it just yet. Obviously, the screen recorders are in there. They're, they're gonna, it's going to go, you know, absolutely peak on for her. And that's that's on her. Sorry, Han, go on. Um, yeah, I, do you know what it is, babe? Like, I, I feel really, really emotional. Um, like, I got stuff going on behind the scenes and she had no idea. Like, she doesn't follow me. Do you know what I mean? And it was so uncalled for and unwarranted what she did last night. Like, do you know how much it took me to come on and alive and speak? and educate and be on there for hours, hours and hours and come in and be dragged and be shared. And it felt like I had a sense of kind of responsibility in a way that I had to speak, like I had no choice. And the amount, like how much courage it took for me to come in, like being unwell, having a heart condition, having anxiety, being on medication, like it's hard, man. And like even Torian and Paige, you've a couple of times said to me, drop hand, drop, drop, like it's not good for you. It's not good for you. And I'm like, no, I need to do this because I feel like people deserve to be educated and people deserve to kind of right their wrongs in a way. And I am that voice of reason and God's blessed me to be educated and kind of be a black woman and stand loud and proud, you know what I mean? And to be attacked by another black woman for stuff that... <laughs> um, yeah, to be kind of attacked for literally standing up for something that I believe in and I've never disrespected anybody on this app not on no creator and now to be held kind of accountable or kind of crucified for gifting Luke because Luke has reached out to me we've spoken Luke checked up on me while he was on live this morning and we made sure that I was okay even though he hadn't seen it and the thing is though with him like I know we've all one Sorry, Top Girl, can I just confirm? Is it yes. true? Because I just want to, I, I didn't see any of last night. Uh, I really haven't seen anything. I'm surprised there's no recordings of it. But um, is it true that basically you were sort of more or less, I'm going to say the word threatened, I don't know if that's correct, but about being in any boxes where um, people were labelled as EDL? Yeah. yeah. This is what I mean. I, I, like, I don't even understand why. Like, I can gift who I want to gift. I can support who I want to support. Just because I'm a black woman who's rightfully, like, stood up for racism and spoke on it and sat down with Pearl in her own box and spoken about it. How dare you, as another black woman, come on here and come at me the way that she did last night and hold me accountable for what? You and Speedo's situation. Like, I'll fucking say it and call it how it is. Speedo's my friend. I'll support him don't really care never like the girl never will that's just facts but that's got nothing to do with the fact that it's about racism and what pearl said to her was outright disgusting and i was still, still stuck up for her when she needed girl. and you know, like, the thing is though han as well like you're the most eloquent speaking one out of all of us like we've all got anger and everything and we come out with things that we shouldn't come out and i've never seen anything that come out your mouth that people have been like whoa han do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. And do you know what it is? Pinky came up in the box. So I had to drop last night because I was I losing my call when I was getting messages telling me to drop because, yeah, it's not good for my heart as well. Like, yeah. so they, I, I dropped. Pinky came in and Pinky said, I've been in lives where Han was screamed at and told, get in the live and speak on the whole Laura situation and slag the whole Laura and Speedo situation off. And she's shut it fucking down. Like somebody who does, who didn't follow me until last night, somebody who's obviously been watching from the outside, who's friends with Laura, came in and said that. Yeah, like yeah. Han was in boxes where she was being shared lives and being told to speak about that situation. And she shut it fucking down because it wasn't the time. It's not the place. It's not her, like, it's not her responsibility to speak on it. And yet she still couldn't understand that, but still went for me. So uh, do you know what it is? I don't care. But at the end of the day, I just want everyone to know, like anyone can message me about anything to do with race and I'll continue doing what I do. And I'll go in any fucking box I want to go in and give to whoever I want to gift. Nobody can come at me. She can go on her live. She can chat shit to all her people, but I don't care. Can I everyone, just debunk something? I'm really sorry, Han. Sorry. Um, yeah. Torian is not in Pearl's gifting gifting pearl so please don't run with that torian is quite happy in the box with Paige. she's not she's not in pearls 
<laughs> Torian would never give birth. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, Torian would never give birth. Yeah. <laughs> Are you joking? Do you mind well, how it be? Can I speak now? Yeah, I was going to say, sorry, I wasn't trying to close you down. It was just it was important. Hang got a bit across. I'm going to jump down. Okay. Yeah, okay. thank you, Cockapoo. Um, thank you, ladies. You know, I don't really know all your names here, but um, I'm, I'm, I've been around for quite a little while on TikTok and I've seen all these things happen. And um, my, my main thing is about Pearl um, because I was there when she first mentioned the, um, the orangutan, I'm going to say it as it is, um, word, and she would say she always uses it and everything. I've never heard her use it. And then now she's coming back again with great strength because she wasn't dealt with in the in the first place. You know, um, I think there was a, a lot of like, um, oh, poor Pearl and whatever. I'm just saying it's wrong. And um, for me, in my big old age, again, 58, it's that she needs to be reported for hate speech. It is what it is. It, you know, I, and so I, I know we're trying to debate it and, you know, oh, you know, what she did, whatever. Just call it what it is. It really is disgusting and outrageous. And it, it, um, back in the day, um, I remember the Millwall days and some of the football days where there was the monkey chants and the throwing of the bananas on the, it's, it. It is all part and part. So she cannot get away with this. So all I'm just trying to say to everybody that cares, report her, report her to the police for hate speech because it is what it is. I, I, I can't see nothing beyond that. I, ah, you know, these debates to... are, are going on and on, but report her. I think that yeah, still I happens. Wanna, I just want to say, darling, um, it's good that you said that. And I've made a video. It's on my page. I've made a step-by-step -step video on how to report hate crime online and over the phone. So if Wonderful. everyone wants to go and watch that, I've done the video. I posted it yesterday. So, so can everyone go to... Um, um, is Hi. it Hannah? Yeah, Hannah. No, Hannah, darling. Go to a page. If you really, if you are really serious about this, if you're just watching, you're watching for, you know, excitement. But if you really care about what's happening and if you care about the black community, you will report this shit. Sorry yeah. about my language, but you will. So just do it. It, it, it just do it and then you know that you've done good you don't have to keep on watching and talking and talking even though i know that other things have happened um, um um underlying what what perla said but that woman is is racist i'm gonna call it for what it is and she uh, uh hate speech is too much now you know, and she caught, talk about her ginger, um, you know, grandpa, uh, grandchildren and blah, blah, blah. The thing is, is that she called out again and, and now she's not taking it back. Make her take it back. And if she doesn't, just, just make sure you go through all the processes to call her out for what she is. Because I think she's a, 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 a I'm gonna. I don't want to talk Jamaican too much because not everyone doesn't understand. But I'm, I think that she is as racist as your races can be, and she, you know, you know, we love. Some of us love the traveling communities. Yes, I've I've grown up with them all my life. But she is a bad egg, and she's disgusting, and she needs to be removed. Or the police need to have a little word with her. And if police don't want to have a little word with her. Then we have maybe have to go in if, go much further, but she is out of order. Reporter, reporter, reporter. That's all I've got to say. No, well, I um, I'm just going to get the last few people and then I'm going to come off because I was only meant to be standing in for Luke for a bit. <laughs> um, G, you best stay on all day. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Hi guys. Hi. Um, can I just quickly talk and then I'm going to come down. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, right. I obviously always come up in a box when I feel like I want to give my opinion, which we're entitled to do, and my head's going in so many directions. But one thing that has really boiled my blood today, like I've literally had to text hand, like, how the fuck do you do this, is when people are racist and they say, I've got family who are black, I've got a friend who's black, that does not mean you are not racist.
That does not mean it is nobody else's responsibility on this app or in your day to day life to teach you about black history. Rather than coming on the app and justifying your actions, how about take one day of your life to actually educate yourself? But do you know what I think this comes down to? A lot of people don't want to be educated. They don't care if they are being racist. They care about the fact that the app turns against them. That's what they care about. They don't care about the things they're saying or the effects it has on other people. What they actually care about is when the app turns against them. I don't think, and I, apologies, I don't mean to come on so much aggression, but I don't think Pearl gave two shits about what she said the first time. I think when people were saying, I'm more than happy to be educated, I'm more than happy to be educated. No, you wasn't. That was an act for TikTok because people have spent hours and days and the uplift it has caused on social media and Han feeling like this one person that is being dragged into every live, being shared it 24-7 like she has to speak on behalf of the whole black community. No, she doesn't. She's an individual person and she does it because it affects her how about take yourself off of the app and educate yourself as a fully 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 grown woman no one in school or no one in my family sat there and taught me about black history doesn't matter if i've got a black friend or a black this black that nobody taught me nothing you do it yourself you don't learn enough about it in school and it's nobody else's responsibility and in my opinion she didn't care about it the first time and it proved in the second time she said it and to touch on what happened with Chester yet again that's racist you do, you can apologize as much as you want blah 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 but are you only apologizing because the comments in the app have now been exposing the things you've done I'm only 25 right age okay doesn't matter but Oh my God, who would even dream to go on the app and know that there's a massive topic of racism? Get out a banana, eat it in front of the screen. Oh my God, I say it from the beginning of all my lives, if half the people on this app acted, acted how they did off of the app, it would be over for yeah, them. Things would be different. It's yeah, absolutely things would be different. Horrific. Like because you're behind the screen, mm. you think that it doesn't affect people. You think because somebody gets sad, they shouldn't be on the app. No, there needs to be more human people on the app. Georgia, and you know what the worst thing is though? He he didn't just stop at the black community. He started inciting the hate at other communities. I I can't speak on all of it because genuinely I didn't I didn't see it and it's not that I'm agreeing with him. I'm just saying I'm not going to speak on it if I didn't see it. I try my hardest not to, but like. I, what frustrates me the most is seeing poor Han being dragged into every single fucking box. Can you educate me on this? Can you educate me on this? And her being the kind hearted person she, she does. Yeah, and she, she tries it. not to hold back her anger. And Han, I've had conversations with you. I can see you're absolutely furious and you have to come on here. And, and when you, representing the black community and coming up and being in these boxes and educating people off of your own back which you never needed to do have every right to come up here and curse and go absolutely mental but why is it you're the only person that hasn't but these other people have do you know what i'm saying like that's all i had to say but if you're a racist you're racist educate yourself it's nobody else's responsibility and i don't care if your cousin is black or your friend is black or whatever because if half of those people realize what you've actually been saying on a public platform they wouldn't be your friends or your family anymore no one taught me there's still so much more to take it on and educate them she could say what she's saying but it's not for her to educate them she's willing to know if people are nice and ask her ask her politely she will never say no please go on empress because georgia touched on so many points my blood is boiling but in a positive way hey i'm literally shaking can I just quickly, I know that this isn't, I'm not trying to um, change the subject, but just very, very quickly, because I see this a lot about Georgia. Oh, she's a fed, get her out. No, I won't. She chose a career for herself and fucking good honour. She didn't sit on, on benefits for the rest of her life. She went up and chose a career and she done well in it. So shut up, please. I'll have whoever I want in the box. Sorry, Georgia. Could, uh, excuse me, could I just come in quickly? Because uh, I've been waiting at since 10 o'clock and I've, I've got to go out shortly. Sonia, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I'm going to come down now. I'm so sorry to talk over you. I've got to go to a family barbecue. But one more thing is I have noticed and I do want to openly say this. I'm so sorry, Tonya, to interrupt you. That was so rude. I just no want to worries, finish this and come down. No worries. But a lot of people have commented, you go on with um, CLA. I don't need to address this comment because there's only been like five people who say it. But I want to say, unless you're a creator yourself, you cannot keep up to date with everything that happens on on this app i literally solely rely on fyp reaction pages and if you do actually watch me which you clearly don't because you don't follow me you will understand that when i get 
when I learn about something, I make the decision on who I choose to go live with and who I don't. And if you have been watching me, you will understand that I don't go on with Chelsea. And as much as that would be an amazing thing for my platform because she's got all the clout in the world, I choose not to because I stand by my morals and what she does. Absolutely, absolutely. That's it. I, I, I can't keep up with everything. I miss so much. I miss so, so, so much. But I'm going to go now. Han, protect Thank your you, mental Georgia. health. Everyone else, protect your Thank mental you, health. Georgia. Come on, Georgia. Yeah, I'll call you. Bye, guys. Thank you, Georgia. Thank you. Sorry, can I just can I big piggyback off um Georgia because I don't want to forget exactly what I was going to say and I was just about to say it before. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. Han, everyone, I'm here because of Han, right? I see Han on different panels. So can you meet please, can you? Can you meet please? Thank you, darling. I see Han on different lives. Literally, if you, I did psychology at uni. Boo hoo hoo, whatever. But I'm just saying the mental it takes to sit there with people who act oblivious to the oppression, to the insults, to the backhanded compliments. I've come in a life for 30 minutes and sat there and I couldn't come up because Han, I never had the mental capacity to break down what somebody can easily figure out themselves is more than aware of, but has the luxury to play oblivious to play oblivious to um, walk in their privilege. That's why I really love that Georgia, a white woman, stood up and said that because my white friends always told me, Mons, we are aware. We just have the luxury that we can play oblivious. We can call you an ape, whatever. We can turn around and say, sorry, I thought it was a joke. Even though I've been in London my whole life, I know how offensive that is. But if I turn around and play oblivious, that means I can't be responsible for what I've done and what I've said. And that made me so emotional because for a long time, I, I was silly. I was like, you know what, maybe they are oblivious. But then I thought about it. I live in the UK. I live in London. I'm not in the Indian or the Asian community, but I know words that will offend them. But I'm nowhere near their community at all. They mix with us, talk with us, indulge with us. Even if you're from freaking um, Norwich, right, where it's, it's minority, you're aware of what um, blacks have been through and the oppression and words that can be extremely offensive because if you dare speak on the Irish culture or you speak on Scottish people even if you're not meaning to offend they become extremely sensitive so that means you're very aware of what can be seen as offensive so I really do feel like Georgia we need more like white women that speak up and say we're not silly we're not emotionally unintelligent we're aware but some people for me I feel like have had the luxury of saying racist things, making racist um, um, remarks, and then step back in and backpedaling and saying, well, I didn't mean it. Well, and there's no repercussions for that. I've heard Hannah break down the obvious, break down what's blatant, explain things you shouldn't have to explain, explain how we have emotions to how, why this is offensive. I've seen her do this repetitively. And it must be exhausting, Han, because you are human. You have emotions too. You get hurt too. You get offended too. And yet I've never seen you, as Georgia stated, react aggressively. You know why that is? Because then you'd be stereotyped as the black aggressive woman. You could have a hundred reasons why you're being passionate and aggressive and you would still be labeled as there. You see what I mean? How these people get. So we're mm -hmm. always stuck in a catch 22 where we have to explain as if we're the teacher after we're the one being offended. Then we have to also keep our emotions down, which is unhumane, act like we're not feeling offended while we explain to you like you are the victim. Then we have to reassure you that we are not offended and we haven't taken offense to what you've said. Do you know how emotionally exhausting that is? Right, but you know that... that no, is, uh, oh, sorry, can I just, just jump in just for a second? Mm -hmm. Tonya's been, bless her heart, she's been waiting for three hours and I've only just let her in. Sorry, sorry Tonya. Hi, thank, thanks oh, for that, Miss yeah. Thank Thanks for letting us up. Um, I just wanted us to just to point out with, with Pearl, um, ever since Pearl arrived on TikTok, she's been a problematic creator. Um, she's she's put she's an actress, um, and she's a, a a wolf in sheep's clothing. Pearl never ever needed educated. You can't educate a racist. She's mm -hmm. always been racist. She tried to pull the wool over people's eyes, and uh, the the first time she used the word, she was testing the waters, and then she played the game and pretended that she was letting people educate her. 
In the meantime, she was transphobic to say she could get away with that and played the little stupid old granny game. Then she sent a letter through the post to another creator and she wiped her backside on it first in front of all her friends on TikTok. Nobody pulled her up on that. Then she was ableist. She mocked a disabled lady on here and said she was going to punch her in the face. None of her friends said anything about that. And that's there are the facts laid out by now. And then she's done it again. And prior to that, there's two other big creators, male creators. She opened the door for their racism to start drip, drip, dripping in. And Paige and Torian will know exactly the two creators I'm talking about. I don't want to bandy the words around or their names, but they both know who they are. And what, what Pearl's done is she's opened the door. Now, what she's on now, she's on another live now. She's changed her name into something ridiculous, like the most fucked up on TikTok. Now, this, this TikTok is full of ADL in reform. The most fascist, dangerous people we have in this land. Well, She's opened slide. the door not, not and the they'll, they'll play that out, they're in disguise, they're in disguise, right? Yeah. Trust me, they are. They come in sheep's clothing. She's opened the door and over on her live now, it'll be packed full of ADL, spewing the hate. English, this, is, is this, is, this is political now and it's dangerous. Those girls have put their lives on the line. If somebody could get really hurt because of this old, stupid woman, she's made me feel ill, ill with her antics. We need to make a stand behind this community. Get her arrested now. She needs locked up. She's opened up another live stream now, a hate stream. So, she so needs can I just quickly come in? Thank you, Tonya. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to go in a minute, but I want to just say this because I wasn't coming up here for a, a long thing, really. All I'm trying to say is that when you get, um, uh, you know, uh, we, we've had... Um, Excuse me, can I, can I just finish, please? I'm just looking at the, 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 the comments, and now on here, it's saying there's no ADL. What world are you lot living in? It was St. George's Day the other day. You could go on here in, in, in any number of lives and see the ADL. I, I, come, I come from so the National Front era. Was no, please, so was do I. I, I come from the National Front era, so ETL Me is... Me too. Uh, Me it's too. A, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm 58. So I just want yeah. to say, all I want to say is with the young, young ladies in here, you know, um, and thank you, thank you very much for giving a bit of time. But what what is happening is that we are saying something is racist, and then we have other people saying, "Oh, that's not racist, that's not racist." I am telling you to tell them when we call it racist, it is absolutely Don't apologize for it. Don't like it's not to them. listen yeah. to them uh, uh, giving why it's not racist. Just stick to the fact it's racist. I can't agree when it comes to this the, the, the St. George's Day. I have to disagree can with I, that. Can I just say EDL has no, 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 I'm not talking ETL. I'm talking about just, when, just, when black people it's say it's, it's racist. Well, she and not packed away racist. talking about um, um, this it's English thing. She was talking, talking about. Yeah, I'm not talking about all of the celebrations. I am saying that when we say, when you young ladies say it's racist, and when me as an older black woman says it's racist, it is because we know what it is. So for people to say, no, it's not. Oh, she didn't mean it, whatever. Just stick your guns and say it's racist because it is. Yeah. That's can all I I'm just trying say, to can say. Can I just say that St. George wasn't even English. He was um, Turkish Palestinian. Turkish have been racist towards blacks. So, and, and it has nothing to do with the EDL. <laughs> No, but I just want I, to say when I, black people I, I experience being, racism, yeah, I, I wasn't being racism, uh, only they can about, tell you the feeling, if you get what I mean. Exactly. Only they can tell you what's offensive. You can't tell us you what offends us. We nothing. have to tell you. So I always tell my white friends, don't speak for me. Don't ever tell no. me what offends me, because I can't tell you what offends you being Irish. No. I don't know. 
when it comes to me being black, I know what offends me. And some things are very sensitive that you may not even know, you know? Lindsay, so, yeah, what, I, what I was that. trying to say is that St. George's Day, I mean, we're, we're, if we're British, we're like to uh, English, we like to uh, support St. George's Day. And yeah, that's but Pearl English, is she? But the, a lot of the faction that I'm talking about have jumped onto that and made it into a racist rally. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not having a go at anybody that likes mm -hmm. to celebrate St. George's Day. What I'm saying is that as a faction of the community have used that as an opportunity to have a racist rally, right? But, but that's and not I'm our also bag. saying not our bag. That the, the, we don't business about that. I'm trying to say is that what we're saying is that when someone calls out one of us, you call out all of us. We know what racism yeah. is. So we're not mm -hmm. talking yeah. about St. George's Day or any other day or whatever, carnival, whatever. When we're talking about when somebody just sit, the simple thing is when somebody says a racist slur, it affects all of us. This is what everyone does not know. You support CLA, so why are you saying the most? I don't know if you wanted to address it, that's all. Oh, no, I don't support CLA. I like to see what she's going to say. I have the right, like anyone else, because I, I heard someone say about supporting Luke or whatever. I have a right to do what I want in there because I want to see. And that is it. Yeah, that's like me. It's I like to see as well. You can't, right. can't tell me who I can't look at or what I can't look at. I don't subscribe to it. I watch it. And I watch everyone. And that is my prerogative. In other words, I need to we can't see. say that to her because I used to sub to CLA until I heard the things that came out of her mouth and I sub unsubscribed straight away. Absolutely. And and that's what I did. So I'm trying to say it's not about support this and support that. We you know, we we as as um a, a people of race need to be in there. If you're not in it, you can't see it. So no one should be that like, saying to me what I do and what I, I don't do. And no one can test my blackness, that's for sure. There you go. Yeah, and this is all right. And do you know what it is? Us as black people, we've got to be around racist people anyway. We've got to work with them. Exactly. We've got to be, anyway, so being on here with them ain't no difference anyway. Exactly. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to ask you. She's just to look and see it. Like right, the same with me. I want to see it myself. Because people tell me, oh, this person's racist. This person, all right, let me see it. I'm not going to jump on that. Right, let me see it. Because to my knowledge, everyone is anyway. Everyone's racist when they're ready. Tonya, was you, you finished? Or did That's you have thing. anything else to add? Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. I mean, I haven't been over to Pearl's new uh, racist live that she's running now, but I think it's on sub only. And, you know, we could, you can go over there and look for, for yourself and all the racists are coming out the woodwork now. We just need to uh, um, screen record that and we know who they are, you know. They're, they're all over this app. Um, the other thing, I just wanted to quickly say that I couldn't remember the name of the charity um, that was uh, online Earth with Pearl. Earth Angels. Earth Angels. Yeah, I just felt really for that woman, you know, she's been dragged into... I just hope something good comes out of that for that charity. Mm. Um, I don't know yeah, if yeah. someone can... If Miss J can put the name of it on her page um, so we can all give it a follow. And also, I just wanted to show me admiration for the, um, the, the the black and ethnic community for the ways you've carried yourself over the last month. Um, you should be very proud of yourself because you've, you've carried yourself with dignity um, and, you, you know, you should be proud. And that's one thing that Pearl hasn't got in this is dignity, you know. So th thanks for having us up, Miss G. That's all right, Tonya. Sorry it took so long. Lindsay, are you OK? Jay, I'm going to leave as well, but I just want to... The oh. last thing that I'll say is, please can we not forget that Chester tried to incite hate against the black community and the Muslim community because he's vile and he didn't stand up for what he said. He just ifs and buts and ifs and buts, and I didn't know he was acting stupid. Anyway, thank you, Miss G. That's all right, top girl. You're right, Lindsay. Hi, yeah. Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. Hiya, thanks for letting us up. Um, I just wanted to say, first of all, um, I know Tanya's just touched on it, but um, Earth Angels, I was watching the live. Um, and people... Let me straight the song called Kai Kai in a box. Oh, tamping, man. Oh, he's got food, he's got food, man. Trust me, man. No, it's not that. Um, I, I just wanted to get oh, some okay, lunch, cool. man. No, go on, okay. I'll put them in, and then this is the last one. I'm gonna, and then I'm going to go and have some lunch.
Uh, thanks. And Go on, so it was just everyone, well, not everyone, but people in the comments were sort of saying that. Um, I don't know the lady's name from Earth Angels, is it Rebecca? Is it? Uh, Rachel. Rachel. Um, people were saying that she laughed when Pearl said it um, or smirked, but the way it, it looks on the clip, it looks like she did. Um, but in my opinion, obviously I wasn't there, but in my opinion, um, when Pearl kicks off and like shouts and screams and everything, it is quite funny sometimes. And I think at first she thought that she was just going to go on one of her little rants like she does. And then when it dawned on her that obviously it was a racial slur, um, that's when her facial expression changed and she was like shocked. But I don't think that like a smile at first wasn't smiling back, back enough pale for what she said. It was like a smile thinking, oh, she's off again. Like, you know, I think she, she, do you know what? She sort of, you could tell that she felt awkward. I know that yeah. people see that as smirking or laughing or something, but she's not used to Pearl's live stream. She's only just sort of come about. Um, yeah. So she doesn't, didn't really understand what was going on. Um, after that, she has been really upset. And I feel like it, it you know, that's on Pearl in a sense, because she's come on to promote a children's charity for children that have got, you know, life limiting illnesses, etc. And she's been put in that position. And I don't think that was fair. Yeah, no, it wasn't fair. Um, obviously, you know, the girl, what she's been through, and I think it's disgusting that Pearl came out with that. Obviously, it's disgusting. But when they were talking about that charity and everything, it sort of took the shine away from that, what the good, what the girl's trying to do. And yeah. I think that obviously that was disgusting um but i did want, also want to say when i was watching pearls live when she came live yesterday um the comments in the the comment section i think people need to be aware that you can't fight race racism with racism um while i understand obviously it was terrible what she said and people are going to be angry um but then people were going to her with like the p word and things like that so i think people it's not helping the mm -hmm. because what was I going to say though, Miss J, yeah, quickly? Mm -hmm. When you restart the live back up, I'll just come back up then, innit? Because I feel like... Oh, I'm not restarting again today, Tampin. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, shit. Swear down. No, I swear right, down. down. <laughs> Go on, say what you need to say. Go on. No, I didn't really have much to say, innit? Like, really, innit? But I feel you like just wanted to kind of... talk to me. Oh, that's... Yeah. No, I'm joking now, but what it is, I thought he was kind of um, ending the live, innit? So I'm just thinking this. this no, go on, no, 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 say what you, you want to say. I'm no, not man, good, man. We're good, no, we're good. Come man. on, come on, just say it. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, man. I was going to jump down anyway. Oh, no, let's go. A bit like Tampin, though. Shout me after. Still. Kai Kai, no. uh, listen, my lunch, you know, Tampin doesn't want me to eat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't know what to say Tampin. on that one then. So nasty to me, Tampin. You've got to let the lady. Boy, I'm lovely to you, man. You know I am. <laughs> got to let the lady. <laughs> no, go on. What are you having for lunch? Well, I don't know. That's what I need to go and. Uh, I don't really fancy anything as such, but I know I do need to eat. But don't worry about that. Go on. <laughs> don't worry about that. Go on. Don't worry about that. I'll make that decision. Go on. Um, can right, I say sorry. something? I just need to drop because I'm way too emotional to be on here anymore. But. Away from everything that's going on on Pearl's Live at the moment, I just want people to kind of be a little bit more compassionate towards people's mental health as well. Like, the oh, way God. last night affected me was so bad. Like, like literally, my mum was watching the live and she was like, oh, my God, are you OK? At, uh, like, one in the morning because... Yeah, Han, I need to message you because I need to know what happened, man. Yeah, like, the way that she came at me. And do you know what, like I said, what was more hurtful wasn't because it was Laura, it was because it was a black woman, man. That's what I hated for Paige's live, because that's not what the live was about. It was about educating, it was about answering people's questions. People came up and said, Han, how do I educate my young children? I've got children that don't understand racism. What do I do? I was recommending books. Like, it was so positive. And the way that she attacked me from a black woman to a black woman was absolutely disgusting. And I did not deserve that, because not once did I ever slag that girl off ever on any live and when was this happened? i've got last night don't go shepherd or something like that yeah and what hurt me the most and i don't want to get emotional because i've literally been in tears all morning is the fact that every time that i come on this app and i try to do the good thing because i'm a good person i've got a good heart and i do it out of 
my own kind of willingness because no one holds the, you know, no one says to me, you've got to come up and do it. I do it because I want to educate and I want to help people and mm-hmm. make a difference. Do you know what I mean? If it means one person that learns from something that I've said or, you know, helps their children, I can sleep good at night. And the mm-hmm. fact that I got attacked for that because of something that I did with Luke, which I spoke to off the app, and Luke checks up on me regularly and we speak of the app and like all his friends, Miss J, you WhatsApp me, you check up on me. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not fair. Like, it's genuinely not fair for someone like me to get the shit that I did from Laura last night. And to be, fa- to be fair, I'll be, sh- I'll be real. She showed her own true colours. It showed mm-hmm. exactly the live and the type of person that she is. Because at this point, it's Han, it's not about, it's not about her skin colour. It's about her as a person. And to me, I just don't think she's a nice person. It's nothing to do with her skin colour, Han. I oh, promise you that. Like, honestly, like, I've, it just makes me feel shit because it's like now, like I was saying to mum this morning, like I just want to deactivate and not even speak on TikTok again and just take a break from it because I've got my own shit, my own health issues that is going on and it takes a lot for me to come up and be dragged into boxes and be asked to educate people and yet I still do it. So just please bear in mind when you're in the comments, when you're viewing, like people's mental health is real. Like you don't know what I could have done last night. You don't know where it could have ended up. I could have ended up in hospital. Do you know what I mean? I'm due to get an implant for my heart soon and anything could have set me off last night. So just please guys, please, 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 when you're being on lives and in comments would be a little bit more empathetic towards people that are coming in with good intentions and educating them. But big yeah. love to everyone. Big love to Miss J. I'm going to drop, yeah? Yeah, yeah big, big love, love to man. Man. Uh-huh. I'm going to message you, Han, anyway. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a question. Was anyone in the live that was held where um, there was lots of accusations aimed at Jay um, for doxing a lady um, that later was proven hadn't happened? Oh, Han, honestly, I was so angry. I was messaging Han, literally, I'd whiplash yeah. in my fingers. I was so angry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think that maybe needs to be addressed. I, 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 it's not a tit for tat, but I do, I do th- in the same way, obviously, Han, you, you've talked about what yeah. happened with you. I, I picked up the pieces with that, with Jay, and it was, it was hard. Yeah. And you can imagine, because you were, you know, you were in a similar situation. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Tampin, yeah, and I spoke to Jay off the app as well. Yeah, you did, Han. <clears throat> Thank you. What was you going to say? Were you in that live? Well, no, I missed those lives. I haven't been there for the last couple of weeks. I was only here before. Okay, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I think that's probably something to circle back around with Paigey with. You know, she's not here to talk about it, but yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. All, All right, right, guys. Big love to everyone. everyone. Thank you. Yeah, see you later, Han. I'll yeah. message you. All right, darling. Bye. Well, okay. Miss Jay, thanks for letting me up on your panel. That's all right, Kai. Um, yeah. Big up Hannah and Tempin. Big up everyone else as well. I'm going to drop, but... Yeah, big up. Oh, I'm going to well. drop. Kai, Kai, what, you wanted to say something. My stomach's hungry. Do you know what I mean? No, I didn't want to say nothing. No, go just... on. Say say what you want to say, Kai. Do you know what it is? Tempin told me to come, innit? He's the one that shared me the Tempin, name. man. He was like, yeah, you need to come up for here. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's my broski in it. You get me? The fuck? Well. <laughs> you over, you get me? Tampin, why did you make out like you, you were like, yeah, get Kai Kai in the No, he school. said to he said you said to me, yo, tell her to rise me. And I said to him, listen first. You listen first. And then I said, yo, you get me? I just had to come and show the broski some support, man. But, 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 but yeah, this is this is oh, what hey, someone someone called us clout chasers, Kai Kai. Do they know who we are? Do they, they don't know where we come from? Clout, you know? <laughs> they don't. They we don't, don't need clout. We got our own side, man. Trust Tampin, me. But, you know I'm famous now, Tampin. Leave me, please. Yeah, you're uh-huh. super famous. I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> I want to be like Miss J. You know, I ain't gonna yeah. lie to you. Nah, man, that might be too much responsibility, bro. I yeah, know, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. She's holding weight. Like, she's, yeah, she's carrying this whole app on her back right now. I am, moment. I am. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sensational on there. Blame it out. Miss J, though, man. <laughs> right, I'm going. All right, sweetie. All right, yeah, thank you, everyone, for the guests as well, man. Follow me as well, man. So right, big up yourself. I know you like big up. Get rid of the two charmers. I know. Look at them trying to flip and flirt with me, cockapoo. Wait, I'm not even going to lie, I forgot I was even still here. No face, stop clouting off me. Miss J, can you drop me? Just... The clout. I forgot I was even here. Lindsay. Thanks Bye. for coming in. Thank you. I'm just going to say something. So I, obviously I've not been through the whole live, but Jay, <laughs> an incredibly difficult topic. 
and um, you know somehow uh, people haven't run crying. You, you've you've managed to handle it well, keep everybody sort of balanced mostly. So um, big up you. You should. I'm, you, I'm not you, used to this, you know, cockapoo. Yeah, big up face. Jay. Right, I'm out, people. Cockapoo, big love, Jay. Stop right, trying to cloud face off me. Oh, go away. I'm famous now, no face. You've got a talent for this, and I wish you would just recognise it. Oh, man, honestly, I couldn't do this again. So if 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 Luke does like ask me again, I'm gonna like fake my own death. No, because you've always said that you don't want to do these things. <laughs> but here's 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 what I'm gonna leave you with, and it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable, right? So oh, there are there there are there are times when um, you know the black community need to use white platforms to get their voices heard because. Mm -hmm sometimes people won't go to their platforms for lots of different reasons but i think somebody like you can bridge that gap from time to time yeah i'm quite you know i'm i know people say i sit on the fence and that but it actually isn't a bad thing because i let everybody have their say and how they feel about things you know and i don't there's no judgment from me either side so just um yeah do you think Okay, good. And I'm not being baited out in the comments by somebody. I'm not doing doesn't. this again, Cockapoo, and that's the truth, though, because I can't do the FYP thing. This isn't FYP. This is a this <clears throat> this is a discussion, not a debate. It's not a bunch of whinging people in boxes. This was people li listening, hearing, asking questions, being curious, not always coming out with the same view. That because that you you just can't do that. That's that's an unrealistic expectation. Yeah. Anyway, that's my view. So is everyone all right though? Everyone's mental health's good, yeah. I don't want to affect anybody, you know. Jesus. Yeah, mine's not so good. Do you wanna do you wanna do you wanna sing us out? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> right, I'm going. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> oh guys, and breathe. Do you know what? I don't know why, but it always shuts the comments off when people come out of the box. Oh, there you go. Come back. I'm just here for Pringles. <laughs> I can't have Pringles for lunch. That's not that's not good for you, is it? Oh fuck it, I'm gonna have them anyway. I'm gonna um Miss J, do you do you want do what you want to do and what you're comfortable with? Yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, there's been like times where I'm like, oh shit, do you know what I mean? But it's alright, it's all good. We're all we're all still here, you know.